A transaction is basically the process of one or more changes done in the database. In this tutorial, we will learn the three basic controls of transactions used in SQL, which are commit, rollback, and save point. Now just have a look at the employee table over here. Let's start using the transaction controls one by one. The commit command is used to save the changes made in the database. To see its implementation, start by first beginning the transaction. For that, write the begin transaction statement. After that, write the actual action which is required. For example, delete from the employee table where the salary is greater than 2500. After that, write the commit keyword which confirms that the query is logically correct and can be executed. Now when we run the query, a message appears below the query editor letting you know the number of rows affected. When we fetch all the records for the employee table, you can see that all the records which have a salary above 2500 have been deleted. Now let's examine the save point command. To understand the concept, let's take an example of a departmental database. Let's start writing the query by beginning a transaction and then entering in the save transaction command followed by the transaction name. After that, let's delete a record with the department number as 10 and then again save the transaction. This time we will define the save point as point 2. With that done, let's delete another department and save the transaction defining it as point 3. Now let's see the department table to view the changes. For that, let's fetch all the records from the table. You can see that department 20 have been deleted from the table. If you want to track back to the previous changes, you can use the save points created earlier along with the rollback transaction command. The rollback transaction allows you to remove all the modifications made to the data, either from the start of the transaction or to a defined save point. For that, we will use the rollback transaction statement and define the save point after that. Over here, let's roll back to point number two. Once we execute the query and fetch all the records from the table, you can see that the table now contains the data up till point number two in the query. And that's all.